Noah Cyrus with Vance Joy on 92.3 WTTS. That's called Everybody Needs Someone, and Noah will be here next Thursday night in Deluxe at Old National Center. I am also happy to tell you that she joins me right now. Good morning, Noah. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. So let's talk about that song. Vance Joy seems like a wonderful person. Was he, and how did that song happen? You know what? It's so full circle for me to do this song with Vance because the way I got signed to a record label, I went and I played in a coffee shop and a friend of mine went and we covered Riptide and he was playing the ukulele and it ended up getting online or something. And, and that's how I ended up getting a record deal. And so that was kind of the start of it all. And I was always really, really, I loved his songs. I was, I'm, I'm still such a huge fan of his music. But he really shaped a lot of, like, I think my songwriting as well and storytelling. I really loved the way he told stories from his very first album. And so we've always been, like, which is so crazy to me, a little bit in touch. It kind of happened over COVID. Just I'd watch his lives every single day. And I was always listening to Vance. And so whenever this song came about... Somehow we got this song done. I had a verse and chorus done and the bridge and there was an open spot for this verse. And I just knew that it was meant for Vance. I spent this past Sunday listening to The Hardest Part, which has been out for a year now. And and the weather was perfect for it when I listened. It was a little cool out, cloudy, sprinkles. I was out (laughs) on a walk when I listened. It was, Noah, this gorgeous barrage of heartbreak. I could imagine listening to this album at another point in my life and it really really helping with some heartbreak that i had been through have you heard this from fans i i hear it and honestly i see it every single night you know there's a lot of tears of course at the show because i you know i even last night like there's just sometimes that those lyrics really you know when you're talking about anxiety and depression and these struggles you know, that's something that I deal with all the time, you know, and so these lyrics are really just, you know, still true to this day. And I love how much this has brought me closer to my fans, this album, I really have gotten to see them. And they've really gotten to see me in a way that, you know, I know I needed them to have. And and it was really important for me to to, to get this close with them and to get this real with them. Next week, you're playing what I like to call the Haunted Basement Deluxe at Old National Center. Uh, it's just this is it great. Haunted? Well, I mean, I like to say it is. It's an old building and it's the basement and became a venue like a, a few years ago. The other rooms that are also venues in that building have been venues for like oh, like over 100 years. Like the one room is about to celebrate its 100th year anniversary. And so that room downstairs has been there for a long time, but they just started using it as a venue not that long ago. And I like to think that there's something going on in there. Does the space that you're playing tend to affect your performance if it's someplace like that? Well, I'm ready to see a ghost or whatever. <laughs> I had, like I'm like excited now that I'm, I hear haunted. I feel like I really pick up on those things. And I was, when you said that, I was going to ask you, has it been on like ghost hunters? Like, why do you call it haunted? <laughs> I just get a feeling <laughs> I'm when I'm in there. i to go. Uh, Noah Cyrus plays here next Thursday night at Deluxe at Old National Center. Her album is called The Hardest Part. You got to go hear it. Noah, we look forward to having you. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much for having me.